morning, everybody. So, um, Shani is live. I'm pulling it up for you guys right now. We're going to jump right into this. Don't you know that? Our planet's dying. Everything's dying. And everyone is getting can cancer and dying. So many people have dropped dead the last three freaking years. And then you got crazy fucking people out there that are doing these mass shooting, killing people. And then you got crazy psycho Putin that's probably going to nuke us because, you know, America's full of pedophiles. Oh. That's what he said. So I'm going through a fucking world realizing that and I'm utterly destroyed as a person too and probably getting eaten up by cancer as well. Oh my god, Shani. Here we go again. Like people have been such jerkwads to me they don't let anything freaking go and all they want to do is just sink me under and, and, and just see me completely destroyed. Well I am. But they want to increase the destroying. Hmm? For some fucking stupid reason. Shannon's done bad things without even, like, looking at their own and being self-aware of their own problems. But because it's me, I, I have to suffer just such a tremendous amount. And I'll just be fucking honest, I'm really sick of suffering in this stupid fucking world. I'm really tired of it. And I'm tired of people being jerks just to be jerks. You know? And, and the funny thing is, the majority of it is men. The majority of it is men, the ones who like to shame women for their bodies. <coughs> we have a bad winter storm coming today. Yeah, I know. That doesn't increase my happiness at all either. I am a completely miserable person when I think about the world. But when I'm in my, my private space and I'm doing my own thing with my husband and my cats and shit, I'm happy. Yeah, me too. So I'm happy in my private space, but when I look at the world, it just makes me miserable. And that's the end of it. Missy Ann, are you just, you know, ugh, I don't, I, like, ugh, it's not even worth it at the end of the day. You know what, just be a miserable person, Missy Ann. That's just who you are, miserable. <sighs> Like, I, I look at the whole Amy Slayton and her husband thing, and it's like, I look at that, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I totally can relate to that marriage that Amy Slayton had, because that was my first marriage. Like, my first husband wouldn't do anything with the kids at all. I think he maybe changed Zachary's diaper maybe two times. Um, so I relate to a, 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 a bullcrap dad like that, you know, being married to someone like that, you know, he still doesn't do anything with the boys. 
Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Neither do you. Man. Neither do you, Shani. You don't even have custody of him. What are you talking about? With Amy Slayton's husband, what was happening is the two-year-old son was having a horrible time. He was crying, and, and the, he was just sitting there eating. All yeah, the I know. He didn't get up. He didn't even get up and take care of the kid. That's wrong. That's yeah, wrong. while while Amy's, like, nursing her baby. Yeah. Like, and, and the age between her ch ch children are so close to Zachary and William's age difference. That is like, I relate to her totally. She'll be okay. She'll find a boss man. Oh, definitely, yeah. You know, that can keep up with her boss personality. And they'll just be a power couple. Amy's very sweet. You know, Amy doesn't deserve a lazy man that's just going to go around and just ignore the kids. You know what I mean? She deserves better than that. I think so, anyway. I believe in that. I'm a nice person, and I just don't feel like freaking talking crap about anyone anymore in this world, man. So what's the point of this, Shani? <laughs> what you mean? Hilarious saying anything about child raising. I'm a great mom and my sons adore my ass. Girl, yeah, do not. And say that you're definitely an amazing mother because of... Oh my god. Are you fucking out of your mind? An amazing mother? That's a fucking joke. Saying anything about child raising, I'm a great mom and my sons adore my ass. Yeah, and all the workers say that you're definitely an amazing mother because of the way the ki the boys are. Yeah. They say the boys are really amazing in the way they are. Right? And that's because of you, honey. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Rev. Right? I say the N-word repeatedly? Really? Oh my god, how many years ago was that? Okay. Holy crap. Um, Way not that many because she just said it to you this past summer when she was mad with the prostitute thing. She called you the N-word, Rev. So it wasn't years ago. Not even a year ago. Long over. Man, you you got old news, Missy. Come up with something new and maybe maybe you'll be relevant in my life. Yeah, come on, Missy. You know you've made mistakes in your life, okay? You've made way, come way on. a lot of mistakes. You've made mistakes in your life. Yeah, yeah. Jenny made a mistake with the word. And if you had the trolls I had, Missy, you wouldn't have your children. So shut up, you drug addict. Whoa. Just shut up. God, you run your mouth and you pretend that you're something great and you're a fucking drug addict. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. You get so high on camera that you can't even understand what you're saying. So please, just shut up. God. There's the shanty I remember. What? That you get dr you're just freaking bitching at me and then you're like, oh, I'm the victim after I say something to you. Yeah, that's a common tactic, isn't it? God, grow up, Missy. You want to point the fingers? Go look at your own self.
I haven't been on camera in two years. Well, that sh should show you that I haven't been paying attention to you at all <laughs> within two years. Wow, you haven't been on camera. Ooh, I don't care. Congratulations, you're still irrelevant to me. I sexually harassed you. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. How exactly? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> What a fake laugh. <laughs> okay. uh, Come on now. Shady. I lost custody of my boys five times. That's a lie. Oh, is it? How many times All have you lost them? All you do is them? bring other people's children up, and then you whine when someone brings your children up. Like, get off my channel. Just... Ugh. All you want to do is just argue with people, and it's pathetic. No, that's like, all you God, want to do, Shady. You guys are old as fuck, and you're still acting like this? Yeah. Like, holy shit. That is pretty crazy, isn't it? Just please grow up for the sake of mankind. When you grow up, Shani, then you can start telling everybody else to grow up. Okay. I think if we were just one level lower, it would be, hey, that's my ball you're playing with. Right? Like, literally, it's like adolescence on the school playground. Like, that's my ball. Oh, like, really, Rev? We one level lower from where we're at, that's where we're Are you guys serious right now? You're going to call other people immature and shit? When you literally, Rev, have never gotten off of your ass to work one job in your entire fucking life. Get the fuck out of here. We would be at. In terms of intellectual. Uh, the intellectual situation. <laughs> Adolescence. It's like my lord. Jesus. Are you done acting like children? Probably not. I'm just wondering. Are you done acting like middle schoolers pointing your fingers at others when you got your own problems you should think about? We're adults here. We don't, we don't have to lower ourselves to childish behavior. That's right. Brandon Johnson for president. I think he's an amazing, amazing man. Like, he actually wants to put Chicago together in the spots that need to be fixed. Shannon, you don't know uh, what I, you're I talking listen about. I to him and I go, he's being honest. What's up, Mel? And he's about compassion. And it's like, that. make him president now. That's what we need. Yeah, yeah cause you guys are wonderful at picking want to serve the country, good politicians. To. You can see the way he speaks about it. He's very passionate about taking care of other people. I didn't lose my kids. I don't know where you're coming up with this stupid bullshit. You did lose your kids. You said it. That's where people are coming up with it. All right, Shani? They're coming up with it by the shit you've put out there. Ugh. 
you can get. I know. It's like you're on this perpetual, let's repeat the same thing and say the same thing every day. Oh my God, that has to get boring in your life. You have to find a different way how to entertain yourselves. Like seriously, or find some therapy or something. Jesus Christ. Right after you do, Shani. That's how I feel. No, my kids were not taken by the state. Nope. You gave them they up. Weren't. Incorrect. <clears throat> you gave them up, right? Oh, my God. I'm not vaping. What are you talking about? You're not smoking cigarettes and vaping, Channy. Idiots. You're an idiot. I could use some therapy. Good. Go to it. And go to it with your multiple personalities you like to invent. Huh? Just to try to troll me. Because that's all I get lately is nothing but trolls. Like, I, I'd like to talk to real people in the world. Is there actual real people in the world? And, 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 and not people who act like 11-year-olds? I'm just wondering. What is the point of this? Is, is, is there someone who's a little bit truthful and don't cherry pick things and then twist them? Is there anyone out there? Oh. What's my PayPal? Let me do that. Yes. Oh God! Of course, PayPal. Here we go. Oh. tired of this world. I give up. I give up. People are like, be positive, have hope, blah, blah, blah. Why have hope and positive when all I get is this? Why would I want to stay on earth when I get that on a constant basis? from people. No. No. What if I told you I don't want to have hope or be positive? No. Uh, about me being healthy anymore because of dealing with crappy people with shitty attitudes. Who can't move on with their pathetic lives. That, that, that. Ah. <laughs> uh, this is why the aliens don't come. Because people aren't mature enough to get over things. The aliens? We're going to talk about the aliens now? Okay, Shani. Let's not live in reality. This is ridiculous. Oh. 
I think the I think what needs to be said is that like you get dogpiled for mi uh, mistakes, okay? The majority of what's said is just lies, period. But what's legit what were mistakes. And everybody makes them. So it's like, can we all agree that that is the case and let's, let's try and forgive? Have a little forgiveness for bad stuff that's happened. Because it's not much. The legitimate stuff that's bad, quote unquote, is not much. Right, Rev. You're on crack. There's mistakes. You're full of shit, Rev. People got to learn forgiveness again. They really do. And redemption. Because it's been a long, long time since that N-word thing happened. It's a long time. You know, and you have ne you haven't said the word once since. So people gotta forgive things. I've never fit into this fucking world. Okay, I've never felt like I fit into somewhere, or that I belonged somewhere, or you know, you know what I mean. I never felt like that, mm -hmm. ever, ever, not once in my fucking life. I've always felt pushed away by people. And, and, and you know, I don't want to be around people anymore. Then what are you doing on they here? Do push me away. Then don't be around or people anymore. Or they do this thing where they're like, "Oh, I want to be your friend, and I want to, I want to, uh, and all that stupid crap." And then, and then you open up to them, and then you never hear from them again. Or you hear from them for, like, months from now. Hey, how you doing? And it's like... Oh, please. Christina, thank you so much for the super chat, hon. You said, good morning, Carrie. By the way, racism and child abuse are no mistakes. Exactly. Exactly, Christina. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. And I totally agree. Do you know what's even going on with my life? Oh, yeah, I know everything because I've seen it in your videos. Did you talk to me? All right. No. No, no one ever looks at the creator as the person. You know, and, and this, this, this was freaking Robin Williams' freaking problem. And, 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 and this is... Uh, uh, what is his name? Uh, the aerobics, uh, instructor. Richard Simmons. That's Richard Simmons' problem. Is everyone looks at you and entertain me, entertain me, entertain me. But they don't see that you are a human being, too. And, and, and maybe once in a while, it would be nice to have someone be like, are you okay? Hey, what's going on? Hey, let's have a chat. People you do know? do that. And it's not about fucking drama or anything. To be their friend. Yeah. And that is rare. It's a rare thing to have a person that's legitimately like, are you okay? Yeah, right? Because I try to be that type of person. Yeah, you legitimately no, you try don't. to be that person. No, yeah. you don't. That's true. So full of shit. So it's like, I hear all these people saying, you need to have hope, you need to feel better, blah, blah, blah. And it's like... And it's like, what? No, I'm yeah. not going to. Like, I feel like I everything I've ever done has been torn away from me. Oh my god. And ripped away and stolen from me. I thought that you gave you your know, kids up. You know, anything I've ever worked toward. You know, I've been treated like hell by human beings. Hell. To the point where I, I, I have chosen that isolation is far more better than to be around people. It's more better? It's more better, guys. 
So it's like, you want to come to me with your pain? Without even acknowledging mine. Okay. Most people don't know how it feels to be thrown away by society. I do. Thrown away by society? My God, you're so fucking over dramatic. Most people don't know how it is to be like deeply abused and thrown away by their parents. I do. And by friends and everyone else. I know how it feels to be freaking thrown away. So do your kids, bitch. How do you think they feel? You think they feel thrown away? And it just comes to the point where it's just like it's not worth even trying to establish relationships with anyone anymore. You know? I'll just watch movies. Uh, <laughs> watch a documentary. Learn something. A documentary. A yeah, documentary? Man. That's good stuff. Then establish in a relationship with someone who's not going to stay in your life. Or be there for you, really. They're there when, when, when they feel like they, you know... Old documentary. Yeah. And everyone could have like their little posters. I was Shanny's friend. When really they weren't. Because if you were my friend, you'd still be my friend. Right. Yeah, yeah, whatever. No one cares, Shani. Nah, you just you just wanted the clout to say I was Shani's friend. That's that's what you wanted. When you weren't. And I certainly would never say we were friends because you weren't there when I needed you the most. You know, you were only there to get what you wanted from me, and then you like fucking just like peaced out. That's the majority of my relationships. And when I say majority, I say probably 99.9% of relationships is they're there until they get what they want, and then they peace out. And that I'm left lonely again. And heartbroken. And and now it's like I don't let anyone in anymore. So that that doesn't happen. Like people can peace out of my life and I don't even fucking care anymore. Cuz I don't let people in that close to me anymore but at the same time it makes me feel like I'm fucking cold as shit but yet at the same time I gotta give myself grace because I'm only protecting myself from constant heartache so whatever you know I try to be kind to everyone you are. But they want to push me to my fucking limits. And I'm, I'm just done, man. I don't even want to be like that. Aw, thank you, Tango Bliss, for the super chat. You said, fantastic Friday, folks. Thank you for all you do. Aw, thank you, Tango Bliss. I really appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. 
I don't even want to be like that anymore. I don't have the energy, first of all. To be yelling and screaming. I do not have the energy. You know, the last few times, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack. I don't even get myself worked up anymore. I haven't got the energy. No. I don't got the energy or the mental fortitude. I really don't. Whatever. I feel you, Louie. I feel you. How do you think I should deal with this? This this complete and utter disillusionment to life. What? Depending on the level of disillusionment you feel, it may not be something that you can repair. I mean... I can't, I can't argue with you over this because, number one, I've seen it. Like, over the course of the five years we've been together, I see it. Um, and I, you've told me about your history and how it's always been like this, and you just get roadblocked for everything. What's up, Queen life. Cat Lady? So how could I argue with you? And tell you, oh, no, honey, it's going to be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. That's Why would I do that? All right. Because that's not how my reality goes. No, and I've seen it firsthand. You'll get successful, and then you just get kneecapped. And then you get successful again, and you get kneecapped again. It's like, what? Why try? Why try in life? If that's the way your life is going to be, you should just try and be as comfortable as you can be and rest. Until you see Jesus. And I think Jesus would agree. That's how I feel. Like, how many times can you get thrown down the stairs until you just say, you know what, I'm not going to get up again. Why should I get up? You're just going to toss me down the stairs again. Yeah. Dolores, Dolores Claiborne. It's like yeah. Lucy taking away the football from Charlie Brown and he flips on his back. It's exactly that. And I always hated that part of of peanuts because everything else was so beautiful but lucy had to be a bitch to him every time with that football that always bothered me it did too much uh, you too. know what i mean like wow Lucy's a bitch well she liked him though and i get that you know she let she loves charlie brown lucy right yeah she does she's in love with him so she does that to him to show him that she loves him kind of but it's very weird like why would you do something like that to someone you love right Abusive. It's weird. She means in the comments calling me selfish. Uh oh. Is that really him? I think so. Uh oh. If that's really you, Gary, don't you believe that we all need to just forgive each other? You're a Christian, right, Gary? We need to all just forgive each other. Now, does that mean that we're in each other's lives, Gary? No. That means we go our separate ways, but we forgive each other. Don't you think we should do that? I really think we should. You go with Christ and we go with Christ and the never the twins shall meet again because it was just weird, okay? I think we all need to forgive each other and just move on. No, I'm not giving him no freaking link. He can kiss my fucking ass. He can go away and live his fucking life. I 
we're not on a freaking StreamYard, you stupid fuck. Yeah, we're not we're not on StreamYard. We are God, you're dumb as nails. This <laughs> so we're just Dumb as nails? That's it's not that. That's a God, new one. Why are you so stupid? Why are you so fucking annoying? Why are you such a fucking idiot? Like, seriously, G-Man, why are you so stupid? Oh, you didn't no think it, you didn't think he was stupid I, when he I was paying your bills. At all. Like, how many damn times do you have to have, have people tell you, leave us alone before you get it? Before you get, like, no one, we don't want to talk to you or have anything to do with you. Then quit making videos like, about it. Like, do you him. get that? Do you compute that in your small brain? Oh, God. To leave us alone? And I ain't apologizing to anyone until people start apologizing to me. Screw your feelings. You don't give a crap about my feelings. You don't give a fuck about what's going on with me. Instead, you say what's going on with me is a lie. So why should I care about your stupid feelings? I know. Yeah, the cats still love the toy, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> I don't need to apologize to anything because you know what? I don't feel bad for anything. There's nothing I should feel bad for. Oh, what about losing what what about losing your kids? I want G Man You shouldn't feel bad for that that you lost custody of your own children out of my life because he's a nutcase. Jason wants him out of his life yeah. because he's a nutcase. Yeah. Yeah. I, you didn't I want these when he was trolls your to leave me alone because I don't feel good. And I don't like them. You think G-Man actually cares about the two of us, but yet he called me selfish. Barbara, shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Oh you gotta God. be out of your fucking mind. And anyone who comes to me and, 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 and tells me that I, I, I should somehow have a relationship with this man can kiss my ass. Because he's treated me absolutely horrible and without any regard and completely disrespectfully and lied about me. Yeah. No, Jason doesn't want him out of my life because I said so. Mm -mm. No, I stated this on many occasions. I want nothing to do with him. Because he's openly lied about us. So why would I want anything to do with a person that's just lied so blatantly about us? <laughs> I don't want any contact either. Oh. Ugh. What is the point? These people. What is wrong with your heart or with your heads? What's up, Guido? Oh my god. I'm not gonna have anyone in my audience, but you know what? I really don't care. That's what it's like here. That's why I just deleted the channel. 
Yeah. But to be honest, that's why I did it. It's like every time I went on, it was the same stuff. Just hate. Pile of hate. It really is. And lies. Hate and lies. It's like, why deal with it? It's so gross. Yeah. There's no way that Rev has not had cigarettes since yesterday. You know what I mean? Like, if what they said yesterday was true and they gave up vaping, you know, smoking Delta and smoking cigarettes, Rev would be losing his goddamn mind right now. He would be so fucking, like, just a mess. Oh. So I don't believe that. What uncommon thing would you encourage everyone to try oh, Shiloh, once? that's awesome. To be kind. Congratulations, Shiloh. That's awesome. That's a great answer. Quitting smoking cigarettes is very hard, so kudos, Shiloh. How am I annoyed that you can't seem to get the get, you know, in your head that I want nothing to do with you? What's your thoughts on things like clear audience and clairvoyance? It's annoying and everyone hates you for it. I say that with experience, obviously. Your thoughts on foodie beauty, Miss Wait, I don't care. But you to beg for money. You're begging for money, Roland? Okay. Hope for the best for y'all. Thank you, Tangled Bliss. Oh, Cough. Super Max, Once thank if you. you trying to get out, Rev. Get out of what? His marriage with me? Yeah, I think that's what people are talking about, Shani. I'm on here for money or done that yet so I don't know if that's what they're on here for or what they're doing I don't understand the point no Shiloh they're not married they say that they're husband and wife but they're not married they've never gotten married I, I'm I'm just I just completely disfranchised over this world. I'm like, you disfranchised? know, that in, um, Hans Did she Strauss. really? Mm -hmm. Instead yeah. of disenfranchised, she said disfranchised. Hold on. Completely disfranchised over this world. I'm like, you know, excuse me. City girl swag. Excuse me. Carrie Carton, nanny, left two-year-old boy in hot car, didn't you, Carrie? A, I've never had a nanny. B, my child is 17. C, never left him in a hot car. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know who you are, but I don't take kindly to that shit. So I don't know where you're getting your information, but you're full of shit and you need to shut the fuck up. That character in um, Hans Strauss. Mm -hmm. yeah, Hans Strauss. Strauss on on Preacher. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just that disenfranchised over the world. Oh, you care for me, really? And then something bad happens to me, and I'm just like, oh. Again. <laughs> the same look in my eye. Like, I, like, you know that part where he's being RP'd? Yeah. 
That would be me. Just, just, just get over it. Get over with it. That would be me. Not even panicking. Just completely just. Just accepting of every single bad thing that could come my way. I won't. That's Nina. where I'm at. Accepting of every bad thing that comes my fucking way. Because the good things happen to me, no. It seems like it's going down a good route. And then, crash and burn. It was in mine, Kevin. That's the truth. It was in mine. The and then I'm just standing on the side of the road being like, what the hell? Whoa. I don't think anything or any. Whoa. Unique Toys Desperado. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Don't say things like that. You're going to, someone's going to be calling somebody on you if you do that. I know that you want Shani to like talk to you and stuff, but dude, that's not the way. Thing anyone could say could make me feel better. Cause I'm just driving, I'm having a good time, and then my car blows up and I'm on the side of the road. And it happens all the time. For years. My whole life. Oh, thank you, Taylor, for the super chat. You said, sorry, Carrie, but I made a personal decision to block. Things like that get no warning. Love you. I hide so they don't block me before I pounce. Thank you, Taylor. Yes. In situations like that, if someone's going to bring up my kid or try to bring up something like that, yes, I, I'm that no tolerance for that. So you did the right thing. Thank you, Taylor. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. So I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm not even going to try. Why should I? Put any effort into anything when anything I put effort in blows up on me. Wait, is she gonna cry? Is she crying? Like King Midas and everything I touch turns into gold, but I can't touch the. I can't. I can't enjoy anything. I can't even enjoy the gold. No. Like, my body is fucking broken. And oh, here we go and, again. And then I get called lazy. You are lazy, Shani. That's just, that's just, oh my god. Oh my god. How dare someone call me lazy when I sit on my ass all, the all years, day long. In my head, I thought I was being lazy because I was a little bit slower because I was in such horrible Oh, God, here we go. And by I'm the like, way, why isn't this by the way, you guys, notice she hasn't brought up the cancer shit one time. This whole time, she has not brought up the cancer thing. For someone who got something, got a result, some kind of, you know, result back saying that they're, they're, they found something, they found something. And she thinks that she has cancer. She sure doesn't seem to be too bothered by it right now, does she? Hmm. Interesting.
work in this movement saying everyone tells me if I move I'll feel better my whole life my mom made me feel that way no, uh, no Shannon you've been sick for a very long time and you've had really bad problems with your body and everyone's invalidated you that's what I found out Shani, to me, it seems like you've done everything to take care of everyone else, but not yourself. Oh my god, Shani. You literally don't have custody of your own children. Are you serious right now? Hold on. I'm going back a little bit. Are you serious right now, Shani? Everyone's invalidated you. That's what I found out. Shani, to me, it seems like you've done everything to take care of everyone else, but not yourself. You're out of your mind. You are out of your well, mind. Well, who else would take care of everyone else if I wasn't there? Who else would take care of everyone else if you weren't there? Uh, well, I'm assuming the foster parents. That's who's taking care of them now that you're not there. Right? Are you, like, in another reality right now, Shani? You're crazy. No one. I had to take care of my brothers because my parents didn't give a shit about them. Oh, my God. Well, then, you would think if you took care of your brothers because your parents didn't give a shit about them, you would think that they would want to have a relationship with you now in life. Or adults and shit. You would think they would want a relationship with you and be close, but they don't. Hmm. I wonder why. And what kills me inside is they hate me because of lies. Oh my god, they hate her because of lies? What? What lies, Shani? They know you personally. What are you talking about? They're your siblings. They know like, you. I gave my life up for you. Oh my god. You're no a appreciation for anything I've ever- Shani, lay off the fucking crack, dude. Lay off the drugs, because if you're actually, like, you can't believe this shit that you're saying right now. We're done. Everyone else went off living their fucking lives while Shannon was there cleaning up the fucking dirt. Saving other people's asses for jail time for neglect. Yeah, Lamar, I'm dropping the link in the chat for Thanks, you, Thanks, Mom and Dad. There you go. Anybody, if, if any of you guys want to go over there, I dropped the link. <sighs> Feel free. Just come back when you're done. <laughs> and then my brothers grew up and they didn't need me anymore. Let's marry Shannon off to some psychopath. Marry Shannon off to some psychopath? What is she talking about? That's my life. That's my life. Aw, oh, thank you, Trollin' Ain't Easy. Thank you so much for the super sticker. You're awesome. And then to find out that my sister watches me, but she doesn't say anything to me, that fucking hurts. You can't even stick up for your sister. That Ooh. fucking hurts. Deep South Dream would be awesome. I would love to her sister sometime. She, your Shani's sister, if you're any of this, and you uh, ever want to come tell your side of the, thing, the story, and trust me, we know that your side of the story is probably going to be the accurate um, truth. Um, I'd love to have you on anytime. Anytime. Whatever, Aaron. I gave you the last of my money for your fucking wedding, so... Just fuck off. Whatever, Shani. What's up, TJ?
all. Thank you, Bruce, for the super chat. You said every day new levels of victimhood, right? Every day. It's insane, Bruce. Thank you so much for the super chat. She didn't, yeah, Mike, she didn't have any money. She had Rev's money. That's what she had. Like, does anyone anymore have, like, this sense of loyalty anymore? No. Or, or, or loving someone unconditionally? Do you love your kids unconditionally? If you loved your kids unconditionally, I would think that you would have chose them over their abuser. But you didn't. Um, Lori, thank you so much for the super chat. You said, let's start a lobotomy fund for Shani. <laughs> that might be the only thing that would ever help that woman. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you for the super chat. Like, you want to call me selfish, but, like, I'm not the one fucking pissed on anyone. I've been very hurt by people, and I feel What's very- What's up, Caitlin from Exclusive? How are you doing today, Caitlin? Uh, you said, didn't she give G-Man the last of the money for a lawyer for the house? Which is it? Oh, that's right. She did say that, didn't she, Caitlin? She can't keep her lies straight. Can't keep them straight. Thank you so much for the uh, super chat, Caitlin from Exclusive. Very disrespected by a lot of people, and it's like I always get these demands to apologize over these little things that really don't matter. You know, do I ever get an apology, a full sincere apology? And do you ever hear me get an apology? Never. You do way more to me than I do to you. I don't, I don't try to turn my hand on to anyone because I really just don't want to. I don't want to be like that. Because I know I can be better than that. Doesn't mean I don't hurt inside. Curse, I, of course I hurt through it. I just try to rise above that feeling, man. You put on a brave face. Because that's what survivors do. Oh you my put on a God. brave face. Please, Shani. You're full of shit. And they say, fuck everyone that's against me. That's what survivors do. You know, everyone wants to say that I act like a victim. No, I don't act like a victim. I act like a motherfucking survivor. No, you don't. Because no, I've gone through don't. way more than most people. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Every day I'm in severe pain to such... To, to, I doubt you guys could even survive a day how much pain I am. Oh, we can and do. And not only that, people that go through as much pain, if not more than you, get up and go to work every day, too. Oh, and take care of their kids every day, too, Shani. So you can stop with this victim bullshit. You pass out at noon. Nah, you couldn't do it. No. People can do it and do do it. You know, and that's just physical pain. That's just not the emotional pain that I have to deal with on a daily basis. You know? You know. Oh. And then I have all these people 
trying to put their hateful, nasty negativity on me when I'm already hurting from the past and I try in my best to heal from it. Oh, um, I don't personally treat, but I don't think that her sister watches her stuff, no. I think that her family tries to, like, just stay as far away from her and her bullshit as possible. That's what I think, at least. Not, nah. I don't want to be part of the human race if that's what the human race is doing right now. I'd, I'd rather... And to this person, whoever they are and wherever they are that keeps saying shit like, oh, Carrie Carden's nanny left a two-year-old in a hot car. A, I never had a nanny. B, where's your proof? Where's your proof? Show one fucking bit of proof of any of that. And then people will believe you. I want to see it. I will have you on my show right now. Bring the proof. Prove it. Prove where that happened. You can't. Oh, <laughs> keep trying. There'd be like a, a separate entity that'd be part of the human race. If that's what the human race is doing now is saying every single mean thing they can think of just trying to hurt someone. opt out of the human race. It's like, no, my spirit can't take this level of uh, <laughs> indifference and hate. And it's, no, i just not going to participate in humanity. I'm a different being. Exactly. <laughs> I right. have a very Palladian-like spirit. <laughs> you know, I can be protective, but Mainly, I'm a peacekeeper. I I prefer peace. And yeah, there's been times in my past where I didn't keep peace. Yeah, like what a day ago. <laughs> and I I feel bad for that, and I regret that, and I repent from those actions. Because I know, like, I can be better than this. I can have self-control. But nah. This hatred thing that mankind is doing right now, it's only going to lead to your own destruction. And I'm not going to be a participator of it. Oh, God. It's nah, that's low-level thinking, man. That's low energy. That's that's not what an enlightened being, an intelligent being would act like. That's what a Neanderthal acts like. That's what a barbarian acts like. You would think that mankind would realize with their intellectual capabilities to not behave in such animalistic manners. You would think you wouldn't want to act like that, being such an intellect. You know? Because if you're truly an intellect, you would want to understand the situation instead of condemning the situation. If you're really an intellectual, but nah, you want to be all condemning. All right. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Um, Bruce says, Shani has learned self-control and seeks peace. Just don't eat one of her cookies. <laughs> Bruce, I love it. I love it. That was hilarious. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. All right, but that's on your ass. That ain't me. That's your problem. 
okay? Hellfire is on your heads for having that in your heart. And I'm just saying this because Jesus said this, that if you're going to have hatred in your heart, you're in danger of hellfire. Because Jesus specifically said, if you don't forgive others, God will not forgive you. God ain't going to forgive you. You can't forgive me and move on with your life. God ain't going to forgive you. But you know what? I forgive you because I'm, I'm like Jesus. Forgive them for they know not what they do. Because I honestly can't seem to get in my head why you want to act this way toward me. I really don't. You know what I really have come to fully understand, Shani? What? I really fully, completely understand why Jesus was completely silent in front of certain people. Mm-hmm. Quit, quit talking about how. Too. Quit talking about how you understand what Jesus felt or Jesus was thinking or what Jesus was going through. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, both of you. You don't know anything about what Jesus was doing. Clearly, your life and the way that you act proves that. So you need to quit bringing him up because you're just making yourself look worse. And I'm pretty sure Jesus probably doesn't uh, appreciate you using him. Right? Yep. Because silence in those cases is way more powerful than any word that can come from your mouth. Yeah, exactly. Because why, why... Why even say anything to someone who's accusing you of something and it doesn't matter what you say, they're going to try to twist it to an, another accusation. Yeah. It's just moving the goalposts. So the best way how to react in a situation like that is say nothing. Nothing. As a sheep is done before it shears. Yeah. You just let it happen. Yeah. Because it's going to anyway. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, so why waste your energy, man? Yeah. Why fight it? Yep. Yo, at least I can say I'm not like the people who killed Jesus. Right. Hi, Melania. Can you guys say that? Can you guys say, in all honesty, that you're not like the people who helped kill Jesus? Shani, what are you fucking talking about? What are you talking about? Like, you are out of your damn mind. Now you're comparing us to the people that killed Jesus. Are you out of your damn mind? Can you say that? I can say that. No, I would have been like the Apostle John with Mary just crying watching it. <laughs> mhm. Mm I ain't fighting anymore, man. I ain't fighting anymore. I'm going to turn the other cheek. My arms are are out as as I'm on the cross. I ain't fighting anymore. Shanny, now you're Christ on it the cross. It says in the Bible to put away all the wrath and bitterness. And I see why it says that. Because that wrath, that bitterness, it, it really is leaven. It's called the leaven of the Pharisees. It really is a leaven, that like accusational like spirit that's out to like finger point at everyone. That's the devil. Yeah. 
It's they got like, the devil in, in their spirits, and they don't even know it. Yeah, there's some Christians that thinks it's holy and righteous to be the person that's that's pointing fingers and going, you're the problem, but that was the Pharisees. And Jesus said that your behavior must exceed that of the Pharisees if you're to get in the kingdom. You have to be better than a Pharisee. You yeah. have to. Because they're the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. That not that hilarious? Right. They were the absolute scum, and they were in these beautiful gowns and shit. Oh, they thought they were the shit. Oh, God loves us. Moses is our dad. Who's is yours? Call him a bastard. Yeah. He's like, whatever, man. You guys, do, you shut the door to people to heaven. I'm opening it. Hunter, right? says, guys, yeah. I need seven I'm bucks for, that door. for smokes. Guys... I, mean, I mean Tylenol. <laughs> Good one, Hunter. Shut it. Because you think you got a cool club. Yeah. That's literally what he would have said in this day's vernacular. All, all your club is, <laughs> is is arrogance and pride and gloating. Nothing spiritual to you. How are you... Like, if there was anything spiritual to you, how are you valuing life? Like, to tell you the truth, a lot of Christians, I th like, compare, like, I'm just going to say it. Screw it. I, in in my opinion, I see witches more spiritual than a lot of Christians. Most Christians, yeah, that's probably the case. Like, they get it. They get about karma and and energies and, 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 and knowing, you know... <clears throat> that if you do something bad you're probably going to have something bad return to you sevenfold you know they get that like that's biblical stuff that's biblical common sense that's 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 quantum physics if you think about it the second law of thermodynamics so like it's it's a law that whatever you give, you will get back. Equal and opposite reaction. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the second law, is it? I, yeah. Okay. So, like, if you're putting out hate in the world and, and, pointing fingers out to to others you're eventually going to have that come back to you so you can learn that lesson you know i i i think i've lived long enough to know that life is about lessons and a lot of lessons need to be learned to which a lot of my audience have not learned yet about, you know, respecting individuals and, and you know, how to, like, bring good energy in your life and versus bad energy. And, like, all you're doing is creating bad en energy and try to get me sucked into your bad energy. And I'm just like, nah. Nah. If you're compassionate and empathetic, then you can't be like the way they are. If you're compassionate and empathetic. No. It's impossible to be like that. But yeah. A lot of people's natures just can't be that, though. For, no. some, for some reason, they choose the darkness rather than the light. That's exactly. They do. They do. They choose to be mean instead of kind and like do you need a hand you need help you need help instead they spit on the person that's on the side of the road yeah they spit and scoff at them instead of helping and that's a good samaritan story yes that's it it is you failed those tests oh man that's that and that's a big test jesus said that's the biggest test is the well you failed the test of being a good mom and a good parent you guys they needed things and you laughed and scoffed at them didn't you when they were hungry when they were cold when they needed a comfortable bed to sleep in when they were filthy because you had them living disgusting conditions 
Get the, the fuck center. out of here. If you're not going to help your enemy when he's in need, then you're not living the way Jesus told you to live. Help that's your just, enemy. He has to be your enemy too, okay? It, it's it, that's the that's the sign that you love the Lord. That when you have you helped your enemy? And say even to your enemy, here's my coat. I mean, just think, you're seeing someone on the side of the road and they're just beaten up and they have, their their clothes are ripped apart. I mean, you don't have enough compassion in you to help that brother? You don't have enough compassion in your heart to help that person? If you that's can. that's your problem and that's, that's, that's your heart being dark as fuck. Like, I don't care if it's my enemy. If I saw a freaking, like, Dragnaut and saw him at the side of the road beaten up, mm -hmm. I would love the brother. Yeah, right. Exactly. And that shows your metal. That shows the truth of who Even if it was G-Man beaten up at mm -hmm. the side of the road. Mm -hmm. right. I love G-Man, but I don't want to be around him anymore because he's just a dangerous person. And he's abusive toward me. He always wants He's to mentally to abusive toward me. Debate you and shit. Too. Yeah. I don't like that. No. Don't, you don't treat you don't treat someone you care about like that. Yeah, and it made your existence weird for a while while we were at that place. It did. I felt really came, uncomfortable. Yeah. Every time he showed up, it was like huge amounts of this energy and then well we need to talk about feminism or something like that. And it's like why? Like he's stressing me out and I'm like I'm I'm this is like I, I'm like, I'm sick, bro. Mm -hmm. Can't be doing that to me. Like oh, thank you guys. You're putting stress where there doesn't need to be any. I appreciate like, you, Jesse. Thank yeah. you. Coming in the house, he yelling and screaming about Dragnaut, and here he is, like, friendly with him now. It's so, like, it's like, Whoa. ow. Jesus. But it, it's, it, it's like. Don't you feel like, like, to, 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 like, Gary, like, don't you feel like you kind of, like, wasted a big portion of your life trying and, to, and money, trying I to mean... fight Alfred <laughs> when you just ended up at the end of the day being friendly with him? Like, don't you think you wasted a whole lot of time and energy doing well, that shit? I don't know if they're... Do you? Do you feel like you wasted a lot of time and energy on the shit that you did with drag? Because you guys were just as involved in doing that kind of shit as G-Man. How do you feel? Aren't you on fairly good terms with drag right now? Couldn't the same be said for you? Friendly. Well, the Wait. thing is, is like, don't he, don't he think he's wasting a bunch of like time yeah. and energy on me when I'm just like, dude, I'm not paying attention to you. Yeah. Well, it is because he's inconsequential in our life. Yeah. Other than other people going to you and saying, hey, he said this. Right? I don't pay attention to him. I don't watch his videos. But I, I want to know that I am very grateful for everything he did when he did it. Yeah. I am. Still. Oh, is somebody asking where to find them? Um, hold on. I'll drop a link. In the chat for their for this stream, hold up. But dude, you went too far. So it's like, just accept that you went too far, and we're just separated. And that's okay, because that can happen. And and that's how adults should work, is like, if they don't get along, they just separate from each other. Hi, Sandra. It can't be that simple. Oh, God, trolling ain't easy, no. Sometimes certain personalities don't mesh well. Yeah, yeah you can say that again. That's right. But it doesn't mean that someone's got to be, like, this horrible, evil person just because, like, like just chill. <laughs> Holy fuck. 
知道。Our personalities don't mesh well. Oh,、okay? I saw、We're、it, Twin Thing. We're too controlling. I'm too laid back. Don't worry, Twin Thing. We were we've been seeing what they were saying the whole time. It was ridiculous. Fuck those people, whoever the fuck they were. I got an idea who I think that they probably were. By the way. Whatever. Thank you, Twin Thing. Though I appreciate you. Well, I mean, and that shouldn't even be an issue because it's like it's not a relationship deal. No. But I think it's problem with boundaries. Maybe he has some problem with boundaries. And when he's in somebody's real life, he he feels very very close to the person because he doesn't let himself get. I feel you, Vera. People. So I saw really, you, Jesse. Really, really, really close with you. <laughs> I、ah. saw you, Jesse. That was very sweet of you. I appreciate that. That's him being close. That, yeah, I think it is, and I think if you were talk to talk to Ken Jones, he would tell you the same thing. Oh, what did they? Did they actually try to pull something up? Six up? Hold on, I'm gonna pull up my Discord. Hold on one second, guys. I'll let this play while I do Dude, it. I didn't、It's、even、weird. let him get anywhere close to me. No, I know you were mostly silent around him. Yeah, mostly you didn't speak much when he was around. No, because I didn't trust him. There you go. There you go. Why would you, when pretty much every opportunity that came along, he would be like, "Okay, but what about this?" and then want to debate? Like that's so weird. Yeah, I. <laughs> like, uh, you no. Know? It's like, can we just? Talk. Let's chill out. Yeah. Let's. Oh my God! Everything had to be an argument. Well, like when we're talking about trolls and stuff, that's okay because we're on the same page. But then、What? it would go to like a pull. Oh my God! Okay, look, you guys, I got to show you something real quick. Let me share the screen. Wait. Hold on a second. This is who those people that were in the chat that were saying that I left my baby in the car, a, a hot car, my two-year-old son or whatever. This is who they're pulling up. Um, a that's the nanny, not the person. The nanny. Their name is Carrie Carden. <laughs> Does that look like me to you guys? I mean, come on. So, yeah, fuck those people. They're idiots. Political thing. Thank you, six up for you. sending that to me. And then he's like, "Well, we got to talk about that." Well, why? Why? That's not going to be good for anyone. Like, you know, she has her opinions. You got yours. Why? Why? There's no point. It's like keeping peace at the table at Thanksgiving. It's the same thing. Like, just don't talk about that shit. <laughs> right? I guess. I guess people need to learn cooth too. Oh, Shani, come on. Yeah, and to let something go if you just disagree, because it's like we、oh、show them the th the thing in the Bible with with Jesus saying, "Agree to disagree." It It's such a time saver and an energy saver. Yeah, in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus said. Oh, they do, MT. They do. Like apparently, <laughs> I told a story on here one time、um, about when I went to a Tool concert. So I go, I went to a Tool concert with my friends, right? And during the concert, we're having a good time. A guy comes up to us, gives us backstage passes, me and my friend, to go meet Tool after the show. We go meet Tool after the show.、Uh, I I talked to Manard for a second. It was funny, and that was it. Somehow that got turned into I was stalking a rocker, and then now, even though literally Michael has come on the goddamn podcast with me and TJ, like 
he's a part of our uh, everything w- that we do pretty much um talks to tj all the time in discord like what but me and tj are having an affair like come on you guys can't you do better than that come up with stuff that's a little bit believable but they know whatever you need <laughs> ask the father in heaven and it will be given unto you that's what jesus says was which is basically the secret you pray for what you need and 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 ask the Father. This and, is and true, Heather. It. He's going to give it to you. That's the secret. And I showed that to G Man, and he's like, "But no, 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 that's not in contact." I I went. I think that they got bored calling me a boring housewife because that was the the narrative that um, the that they pushed in the beginning. Oh, Carrie's so boring. She's so boring. She's just a boring housewife. Then it started in on my sobriety oh carrie's a drunk carrie carrie's a drunk carrie's drunk right now oh look at carrie she's a drunk now it's going into these ridiculous things now i'm having an affair with tj now i'm abusing my kid like it's you guys come up with some better material when all the verses everything it's very clear what he said you ask for it and you believe you get it you're gonna get it in the name of jesus yep because Jesus taught to do that. And Michael. He just would not go, okay, that's- <laughs> Michael said, I wish that would mean I'm having an affair with TJ by proxy. <laughs> that's uh, what it is. I mean, y'all are cracking me up. There's no point in arguing with someone like that. No. No, there's not. At all. Miss no Mud Duck. Point. Yeah, I had a baby you know with TJ. Don't <laughs> listen. Just don't. Don't even waste your time and energy on someone like that. It's like Christians say that's manifesting and it's evil. Right, Celeste? No, it's oh, not, though. God. It's not. Praying's not evil. Asking the Father for what you need is literally what Jesus said to do. That's literally what Jesus said. I know, Queen Cat Lady. I am a photographer. Thank you for bringing that up. But apparently, that uh, they probably didn't do enough research to to figure that part out. You're going to have a problem. That's a problem. You don't want to do that. That's true. (laughs) That's a bad deal. You don't want that. And they were asking for $7 for Tylenol. The day before they asked, for seven dollars for Tylenol, they were talking about how they're gonna start getting um, stuff from the dollary from the dollary from the Dollar Tree delivered to them, and they were all laughing and talking, "Oh yeah, we can get everything there's a dollar, whatever." I guarantee you, at the Dollar Tree, they got some damn Tylenol. It's not gonna be name brand Tylenol, but they've got some Tylenol in there. You can find Tylenol for cheaper than that, cheaper than seven bucks for sure. Craven pizza. Shanny wants pizza. <laughs> That'd be your next channel. Shanny loves pizza. I googled it. What does it mean if you crave pizza? And it's like usually like you need comfort and you're like stressed out is usually what it is. Mm-hmm. So it's like, man, I am like must be perpetually stressed out because I'm always. Oh, MT, are you talking about? When, he, when Rev called me a cunt, I can pull that up after this. And we can watch that really quick because it is funny. Uh, no idea. Never gets yeah, old. Do. Yeah, I do. Do you see it? Yeah, I do. Yep. Everything is a painful plight to me. Nino, I Nina, I did not see that. We'll watch G Man stream after this. How no, about that, I have to guys? Go, when I take a pee, I'll pull I have that to, up like, too. Psych myself up because I know I'm gonna take on a lot of pain to yeah. go take a pee. Yeah. I know. Getting up off the toilet, I have to psych myself up. Oh you know, Jesus! Like oh. Sometimes I even count. Psych yourself up, yeah.
Like, just, 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 just imagine, okay? Every time you have to go to the bathroom, it feels like you're climbing a mountain, okay? That's, that's pretty much how it feels for me. Just as Climbing a mountain. And, and painful. It's just all at once. And that's what science says about people just walking the head. Yeah. Queen Cat Lady, Rev, their new thing is they claim that the Delta 8 has went up to 45 bucks now. So instead of 27 bucks to get the Delta, they're asking for 45 bucks. Although yesterday, now they're starting to claim that they're not smoking Delta anymore, which we know is bullshit. That's what it's like. Mountain climbing. Mountain climbing. And you expel more calories in the day because of having pain. Yeah, that's right. I know, watermelon. watermelon. That's right, you tell them. And then you have ignorant people who say, well, if you lose weight, you would have been so much pain. Exactly, no. And to which I said, well, if you haven't listened to me, you would know that I've lost way too much weight in the last few months. Oh, Shanny, stop. That's true. Lost too much? Get the and fuck And it hasn't here. fixed pain. Anyway. Anyway yeah, is right. Never said that. No. Anyway the only is right. The advice that you got in terms of movement was, yeah, you should be on bed rest most of the time. That's no, they, they didn't. Said. No, they didn't. Bed rest and PT. Yeah, physical therapy and bed rest. Exactly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said that you should be on bed rest and do PT. How does that make a lick of sense? How does that make a lick of sense? Oh, so be on bed, bed rest and don't do not do anything to physically exert yourself, but then go to PT, go to physical training. Like, okay, that, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So when you're talking to actual doctors, that's, they're literally saying the exact opposite of what other people are telling you. You try living with osteoarthritis in both ankles, knees, and hips, and back. Yeah. You try living like that, man. With, on top of it, fibromyalgia. not fun it's not easy and it's depressing as hell and I get made fun of for it <laughs> it's so funny or 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 they like to say I lie about it I'm lying about it I'm just lazy oh I love that one I wish I was lying about it. I wish I didn't have to feel that bad every damn day. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't in so much pain, I would be having my old job back and be making buco money. Buco? Buco money, eh? Being a house supervisor. Bitch, you was never a supervisor yeah, anywhere. There's so much of that around here. Holy shit. I know! I see the jobs and I know I'm qualified for every single one. Whichever one you wanted. Oh, I could I could get so many if if it wasn't for my fucking body, I could get so many jobs around here. Oh right, Shanny. Because my wasn't resume for your body. is awesome. Yeah. Please. Despite what you 
assholes want to say that I was lazy. I got an awesome resume. Let's my see body it, wasn't so broke. I can get any job I want. Right, like, Shani. Where's your resume? Let us see it then. If if you've got such a great resume, right? And and you could qualify you're qualified for any job, then show the resume. Let us see it. What jobs are you qualified for? Where have you worked? I mean, you can tell us that, right? We don't need your like personal information. Just tell us where you worked. Um, Bruce, thank you so much for the super chat. You said, is it my imagination or did I hear her lighter a few minutes ago? I thought she stopped smoking. Mm, did you? Did you hear the lighter? Interesting. In the field, yeah. yeah I think you could. You could write your own ticket. I could, man. I think so. Yep. I love that job. I love being a house supervisor. I love taking care of people. Fuckers. You don't even and, you and love you taking go care around of people. and call me lazy. You love taking care of people. Shani, you literally gave your own children up. You gave your own flesh and blood up for some to somebody else to raise. But you love taking care of people. You're so good at taking care of people. I call bullshit. You call me lazy. You are lazy, Shani. Bet you guys don't have a resume like mine. <laughs> Spend all your day on the freaking internet. And what are Talking you what are you doing, Shani? What are you doing right now, Shani? I wish my body worked. I could make so much freaking money. Yeah, you, you would be making, you'd probably be making like a hundred and some thousand a year. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, God. Oh. Ow. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh. Here we go. Ow. Oh. Ow. Ooh. 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 Hi, Gavin. He's a good boy. Hi, Gavin. Good boy. He's a good baby. I just heard a lighter. Did you hear that, guys? Hold up. Listen. Did you hear that? That's a lighter, dude. Sounds like a lighter they're trying to get to light. They're like, click, 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 click. Busted! You're busted! <laughs> You've been oh hearing it the God. whole stream, Heather? Even the lighter's broken, right? Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. I broke you. That's like you. You get my Jesus for that, I think. What? You'll have to go to Jesus to feel 100% okay again. Who? You. Oh. Hope you can feel better in your lifetime. <laughs> I, won't. I won't. 
Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> That fucking I evil won't. laugh, dude. <laughs> I'm just assuming anything that will go bad is going to go bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good place to be. And I'm on that path in life where everything will go bad. You know, I've always just kept trying, you know what I mean? I never stopped. I just kept trying and trying and trying. I never stopped and just not cared anymore. Until lately. Because I'm just at such limited energy where I'm forced to not try and not care anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. And by the way, no, we're not smoking. Uh, I was playing with a lighter. Uh, to have something to... Oh! Busted! Busted! Now he's going to make an excuse for the lighter. Wow. Yeah. And by the way, no, we're not smoking. I was playing with a lighter to have something to, it's like a fidget spinner to me sometimes. I just grab a lighter and I'm like. <laughs> it's like a fidget spinner to him. Which is, what is weird though, Rev, is that when you guys were smoking and when you've done these long hours and hours of streamings, I've never seen you do that with a lighter. Not one time. I have never seen you sit and play with the lighter like it's a fidget spinner. Never once. So I call bullshit. No, we're not smoking. Mm-hmm. And you're not begging for cigarettes? Bullshit. I don't want to smoke. What about you, Rev? You don't want to smoke? You know, and there's, there is an actual selfish reason to that. I've noticed it's hard to sing now. What? What? And I don't want to do that to my vocal cords. Oh my God. Because I am a singer. Oh my so God. I'm going to quit smoking for my voice. No. No. She's going to quit smoking for her voice. You guys, I play her singing, her sinning, a lot on here. Shani the singer. She's like she's got to save her uh sinning voice. Um. Wow, wow, Shani. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to pull up some of your singing, Shani. Right. You're taking care of your stop smoking because of your voice. Yes. It's one of the things about me that isn't impaired. That's true. So why should I ruin my voice? <laughs> all right look i'm not going to play a lot of it because i know you guys will kill me if i do but i just want to show just in case for anyone who who's watching this that hasn't heard shanny sing i'm going to play a little bit of this for you real quick like uh -oh. all right i won't i won't punish you further but that's shanny singing that's that's her beautiful angelic voice that she has that she's got to save can't smoke cigarettes because she cannot hurt that voice that beautiful beautiful voice okay shanny <laughs> i just don't care about anything else 
Oh, God. Why should I? A lot of people are like, it's because you're evil you don't care. No, it's because I was forced to not care why I don't care. It hurts too much to care, you know what I mean? Oh god, it hurts too much to care. So I choose not to care. You choose not to care about your kids, I know I that. I give up trying. I don't know about the rest of it, but I know that much. Because I've tried my whole life and nothing ever went my way, so why should I try? The only thing I've never tried is not trying, so now I'm not trying. Whatever. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Did I miss a super chat? Let me go back up here. Sorry. Hold on one second, guys. I missed something. Oh, I am Bobby Tuff. Thank you, Bobby Tuff. You said, sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Here's $5 for Tylenol. <gasps> Thank you, Bobby Tuff. Well, you just missed Shani being playing poor pitiful me. That's what she's been doing this whole stream, basically, is poor, poor me, and everybody treats me bad, and a lot of that. That's about all that she's been doing, though. But thank you for the super chat, Bobby Tuff. I appreciate that. Hi, Sherry. Because I give up. Boots <laughs> Angel. That song was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. I surrender. I, I, normal people won't blame you. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I surrender. I mean, there's only so many times you, 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 keep, you try it and try and try and have what you try blow up in your face before you realize why do I even try I'm not trying I don't give a fuck anymore I just don't give a fuck anymore and I really am craving, like, some ham and cheese sandwiches or wraps or something. They're always out with it, and they always have that chicken, and I hate that chicken. It's gross. They literally only had one last time. <laughs> I know. It's the only thing that was in the box. Ugh, the box. It's so annoying. It sucks. It does. I don't like that chicken because it kind of tastes like it's like a soy product. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's real chicken though. It does taste like it. It doesn't mm -hmm. even have the texture of it. It has the mm -hmm. texture of soy. Yeah. And I'm like, God, I'm going to ruin my hit hormones. You're going it's to like ruin your hormones? Speedy chicken, the, the speedy, the speedy I know. It's sandwich. gross, though. I mean, I like... I like the first time you up. Yeah. I like rotisserie chicken. Yeah. Let's just be honest. I like baked chicken. I don't you like, like whatever you can shit. shove down your throat. Let's be real. I don't even like 2% cheese because it doesn't have the same texture as normal cheese. But I love oat milk. Yeah, it's good stuff. Oh, that was so beautiful. The cereal and the oat milk last night. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. Really good. And I love yogurt. Mm -hmm. And I like apples. Those apples are so good, but I don't like apples with salt. I'll just be honest. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I grew up with yeah. I get it. <laughs> so it gets loose. Yeah. That's not, that's just not. That's not Italian. No. no. It's not. No. At all. No, I want to taste the fruit, not the salt. Of course. <laughs> I 
like it. To me, it brings out the sweetness and the fruit. Yeah. For me. Just for me. Yeah, that's your tongue. Yeah. Exactly. You know, you like the salt. I, I like the not salt. Uh-huh. That's right. Let's go. God. Oh. He's so Diet gross. Coke. That was a Diet Coke book. Oh, gosh. He feels so good. Mm -hmm. Oh. The rubbings will soothe. We should figure out something to watch. Yeah, that's good. What do you think? Whatever like you Like a movie-wise. What kind of movie? You usually pick really good, so whatever you're in the mood for, I'll, I'm with you. I don't know. I picked Frogs, and that's a terrible movie. Yeah, you didn't know, though. And, and I remember it being... I mean, I, I was like, Sam Elliott, fuck yeah. Yeah, it's not a good movie. No, it's not a good movie it's at all. It's horribly shot. And, and the plot is just pretty sad. <laughs> like your life. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Would have been a lot better if they made the enemy like aliens that landed in the swamp or something. This is a bunch of reptiles. It's like... This is really dumb. Oh, it's a frog. Oh, my God. It's so scary. It's just a frog. Like, right? Oh, thank you, Wicked Witch, for the super chat. You said, here's some change for you to get some Tylenol for those bad headaches you got, Shani and Rev. Oh, crap. Send it to Carrie again. <laughs> thank you, Wicked Witch. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh my god, a gardener snake. No, they had some like rattlers and stuff in it, but come on. Try a little harder. Oh. No oh god, don't start the moaning, please. Can't handle the moaning. What are they doing? I don't want to know. Never mind. I was going to say, what are they doing? I don't want to know. That's it. That's how they ended it. Well then, on to G-Man's video before we wrap things up. I figured we would watch this. And see what G-Man had to say. This was um in response to oh let's see. Oh, Bobby Tuff, thank you so much for the super chat. You said wife is getting a uh Mickey D's unlucky shanty. I'm I'm assuming Mickey D's, you mean like McDonald's, right? Or is it Macy D's? Mickey D's, I think. Um, thank you, Bobby Tuff, for the super chat. Enjoy your Mickey D's if you're talking about McDonald's. Um, all right, so this is G Man's response to Shani's community tab or community post that she posted. So let's see. McDonald's. I got you, Bobby Tuff. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Channel. And uh, today I want to comment on uh, Shani. Uh, Shani, for, Shani for herself, Shani for weed. I refuse to call that woman Shani for Christ. Uh, Shani for weed or Shani for herself. Um, community post and the things that she that she said in that community post. Okay, so if you go to her channel, The Losers Club, 
you can actually see that she made several community posts in the last uh, 24 hours. I'm not going to be discussing the one with Just Breezin, mainly because I don't know that much about Just Breezin. And um, I don't want to talk about something I don't know that much about. All right. What I will do, however, is I'm going to talk about at least two of them. One of them that she made about a Calvinist and one of them um, that she made um, about myself. Now, if you want to hear... Um, Actually, I will talk about just breezing a little bit, actually, because you know what? She's appropriate for this one, even if our beliefs might be a little bit different. I'll definitely talk about her now that I think about it. And I apologize for starting late. Um, I had to get to this park to do this because uh, chaos at home. So anyway, look, um, the first thing that she did was that she, oh, come on. <laughs> My phone uh, just decided it wanted to reload for some reason, so ridiculous. But anyway, I'll get to... Um, to um to this in a moment i guess i can make a couple of an announcements until this thing actually reloads or i'm gonna have to summarize what was said i am not lying to you guys my phone decided that it wanted to um reload right in the middle of all of this absolutely hilarious and because i'm doing a live stream i can't really show everybody what i'm talking about on my phone here how am i gonna do this all right so she made a post about a Calvinist one here, and she was talking about how this particular Calvinist committed adultery and how everybody is actually going after her. Actually, oh, here we go. So it did it again. Now let me actually read it. Stop beating around a bush and get right to it. I should have pre-recorded this like I, like, I, like I was going to. As soon as this thing stops doing all of this nonsense, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just give me a second here, guys. I'm sitting on the bottom of this tree and I'm sliding down. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tracy. She definitely Okay, does so let's do this again. The community post says this. I really wonder why so many Calvinists cheat on their wives. But at the same time, they go after the LGBT. In my humble opinion, cheating is far more uh, damaging to the human soul than you are attracted to. Maybe you should fix uh, the problems of your faith before going after you know, other people or whatever, right? Now, for those of you who don't know who she was talking about, now this could be a lot of people, but I think specifically she's talking about a YouTuber called the Bible Thumping We Nut. Years ago, uh, the Bible Thumping We Nut was criticizing Shani and other people in here, like Rand Campbell, Sabella, and some other people in here. And then what happened was um, uh, 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 it came out because he, because Christians confide with one another. You know what I mean? So the Bible thumping we not confided in a, a, a YouTuber by the name of Raw. Oh, thank you, Janice. I appreciate that. Thank you. I think it's Raw 1969 or something like that. I think it was at the time of Raw 69 or whatever. And it turns out that the Bible thumping we not cheated on his wife. Now, before I knew anything about that, the only thing I knew about the Bible thumping we not is that he was a Calvinist. He's debated several people on, online and that we had differing beliefs. I've debated him a couple of times. I've had some arguments with him. But aside from that, I really didn't know that much about the man's personal life. He drove a truck, too. I, I knew that about him. And that sometimes he went past my house when he drove my... Well, he ain't past my house, but he, 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 he drove in the city that I was in. Not very far from me. That's all I knew about the man until Raw actually put that information out there. Now, when that information came out, Shani and the rest of us found out about this, too, obviously. So Shani has never dropped talking about that. But Shani, if you're watching this, Shani, <clears throat> I find it very interesting that you will talk about infidelity when you yourself are guilty of that. You see the difference between yourself. I would say Just Breezin because she's accusing Just Breezin of being an alcoholic or a former alcoholic and accusing Carrie of being a, a former alcoholic. The difference between them, Shani, is, is that you are still in yours. You, you are still doing these things and these other people stop doing that stuff. The we not stop just breezing. This is um new Heather. This is from uh yesterday or wait. No, this is from this morning. This is from earlier this morning. Being a, a former alcoholic. The difference between them, Shani, is is that you are still in yours. You you are still doing these things, and these other people stop doing that stuff. The we not stop just breezing. From what I understand, has been sober for five years, according to Carrie, and Carrie hasn't drunk anything in a while. Th that seems to be the big difference between them and you. You know what I mean? Well, there's a lot of other differences too. They actually have self-respect for their body and a whole bunch of other stuff and whatnot, but that's neither here nor there. But the point of the matter is, is that um, uh, these people don't continue doing those things where you, Shani, make excuses for the things that you do. All right, so I'm gonna put that out there first. And then, then there's this nonsense that she put out there with me. 
Let me read all of this so that you guys can see this here. Okay, so that everybody can see what's going on here. So, G Man, you're, uh, he said, uh, she says, uh, your failed attempts at provocation are an utter fail. Want to know why? At first, I thought this was Rev uh, saying this, but I think this is Shandy speaking here. It says, number one, you're an idiot, and I've known this for 10 years. So, that was number one. Shandy called me an idiot. That was original. Number two, she said, um, I know when you're playing a game because I've tried to talk you out over acting like this towards other for others for years. That's number two. Number three, you put on the clothes of Christianity so you won't be held accountable for your petty vengeance, shallow name calling, and your pathetic slandering of others. Number four, people are using your fragile emotional state to attack me and are too ignorant to know the difference. Then she says, so keep talking your crap and I'll keep hearing whispers that you are talking crap and I'll never pay attention to you because basically you are arguing with a wall. You're a fake, a fraud, and the love of Jesus Christ is not in you. Don't like it, suck it. This is precisely what she said in her community post. Everything that I say from here on out is justified. <laughs> she made this about me. Woo, where do I start? Okay, so Shani, if I'm an idiot, Shani, how come I'm not with you? That's oh. my first thing. If I'm an idiot, why am I not with you? Uh oh. I should have. I should have obviously fell for your web of lies and should have been with you right now. I should have been licking you and and sucking you and all those other nasty oh. stuff that you talk about on YouTube. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, I'm no idiot. Okay, number two, you said that. Um, let me get this on here real quick. Hold on. You said number two, that I'm playing a game on here. No, Shani, I'm not playing a game. Um, the issue is, is that you lied to me, woman. You lied to me. You lied to me when you told every, I'm sorry, you ain't just lied to me. You lied to everybody else out there when you tried to ruin my reputation like you ruined Jason's by going out there and trying to say that I gave you a death sentence because I had to get minor surgery on my back so that I can be able um, to, 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 to be able to take care of myself. And you thought that I just was obligated to take care of a grown behind woman who was perfectly capable of, capable of working. Okay. Number three. Uh, you says, uh, I put on the clothes of Christianity so I won't be held accountable for your petty vengeance, shallow name calling, and your pathetic slandering of others. Shani, let's get into what Christians, to what Christians actually teach and let's compare and contrast that to your claim. All right. My Bible says, um, do unto others as you will want done unto you. Right. My Bible also tells me that if your enemy hungers, feed them. If they're thirsty, give them something to drink. Uh, my Bible also tells me to love one another, right? So when you was kicked out of Boulder, Colorado, and you had nowhere to go, and I gave you somewhere to live, and I was feeding you, and I was putting clothes on your back, and, and I was taking care of your children because your man wasn't capable of doing that because he's too lazy to work. When, 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 when you publicly, on, when you have publicly has said on multiple times that I was paying your bills, and your man said I was paying your bills, and all of the like, um, what, what do you uh, mean by um, that, that I'm putting on the clothes of Christianity? Do you think you're the only person on here I've ever done anything for? And I'll leave it at that. You stupid, Shandy. Number four, she says, uh, people are using your fragile emotional state to attack me, and you are too ignorant to know the difference. No, Shani, you're stupid. The people, and I've heard the things that people were saying about me in your chat. Because I'm blocked, I can't tell you that I never said those things. So here's the thing, Shani. They say uh, the majority of the things that they're going in your chat right now and saying to you, Shani, about me is trolling most of that stuff I never said, Shani. Most of that stuff I never said. I never said that stuff, Shani. They're trolling you to get a reaction out of you. And you're and you're not smart enough to be able to see that. I've heard some hilarious things. As a matter of fact, what I might do. Oh, Vera, I feel you. I, I having to go to a laundromat and do oh man, that's a pain in the ass. I feel you. Because I might start rewarding these trolls every time they go in there and trick you into believing something that's not true. That's what I might start doing. I'm going to start shouting them out on this channel because because they're making you look like an idiot. When Carrie's listening to uh the to, 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 to the trollish comment, she's like, oh, come on, Shani. You believe that? You believe that, Shani? Because you know what? I'm sitting back there saying the same thing because I'm not saying none of that stuff, Shani. If I got a problem with you, you do understand that my house ain't that far from you. And if I really, really, really wanted to be a jerk i just show up people are saying g-man don't do that because you can call the police shani that's not necessarily true and one of these days i am going to do a live stream 
in front of that house and you're not even going to know I'm there. I'm going to show you just the extent of your stupidity one day. I'm uh -oh. really going to show you the extent of your stupidity one day. See, while I can't come to your house, it doesn't mean I can't come in the neighborhood. All right. So, Shani, you're saying so keep talking snot or keep talking crap. Crap ain't a curse. Uh, so, so keep talking your crap and I'll keep hearing whispers that you are talking crap and I'll never pay attention to you. Shani, you watch my channel every day. You watch my channel. You demonstrate it with your live chat. A lot of some of these, some of these things about you touching your husband and all this other stuff is directed towards me. Because you ain't going after Carrie. Carrie got a man. You ain't going after uh, Just Breeze, and Just Breeze is doing just fine. So you're going after me, and I think everybody knows that by now. So you ain't going after Drag. Drag doesn't even know you exist anymore. You ain't going after Burnt Toast because she barely talks about you. Who, who, who is that directed towards? Like cut the baloney. All right. So. Here's the thing, Shani. Here's the thing. You can talk about my Christianity all you want, but I can tell you this. If I've done something wrong, I can I, I can tell you this. If I know that it's wrong, I have acknowledged it and I turned away from it. Right? What about you? What about you? Presently, right now, you are not married to the person that you're with. You have lied to everyone on social media and have said on multiple occasions that Jason is your husband. He is not your common law husband according to Pennsylvania law or according to Boulder, Colorado law, Shani. You are committing fornication. What about the adulterous actions that you committed when you were married? What about those adulterous actions that you committed when you was with, Jay with Chris? You're quick to tell everybody that Chris cheated with your best friend, but you're slow to tell everybody that you and Jason have phone sex, which is, and I agree with Carrie. I totally agree with Carrie. This is her observation that the only reason that he can't be away from you and you can't be away from him is that because, because both of you are cheaters, then neither one of you trust each other. I, I agree with Carrie on that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not kissing Carrie's butt or nothing like that. She's making solid points. She's making good points. Thank her you. and her husband are making good points. Thank you, G-Man. And Shani, when are you going to start making YouTube videos showing that Carrie is a liar or I'm a liar or anybody else is a liar with actual receipts? You can't do it. You want to know why, Shani? Because you know they're telling the truth. That's why you're attacking people in your community posts, turning your chat off, and you don't want nobody going after you. But like I said, it's all fine to why I got my own channel. And unlike you, Shani, I got people listening to me. Nobody's paying you no mind, honey. Nobody's paying you any mind. Now, what I found really interesting, Shani, is I paid, and, I'm, and I got a screenshot of this, too. Apparently, you and your man are going to stop smoking and yeah, that stop bird, using Delta 8. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but that bird is like, fuck you. <laughs> poor g man he's trying to like talk and this bird is just trying to interrupt as much as it can <laughs> nobody believes you i think some people are hopeful that that's actually true but i'll say this um shani um that seven dollars that you wanted yesterday i was this close to giving you tylenol this close this close but but rev made a video and i believe what did he say G-Man, I don't want your sympathy, and I want you to leave me alone. I have $20 right, right, right there on my cash app. But then I remember you said that, and I was like, you want to know what? Sorry, man. I respect you, Rev. I can't give you anything because you said it was you who said, sir, to not give you any sympathy and, for, and, 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 and to not to give you anything. And I'm not going to give you any sympathy, and I'm not going to give you anything, okay? But I tell you this, Rev, I'll tell you this. If me and you were friends, you wouldn't be begging for no cookies. You would be eating. Oh, my God, man. You'll be eating Subways, Plimpies. You'll be eating Chinese. You'll be eating. You'll, you'll have a warm roof over your head. You will be taken care of for a little while. You know what I mean? But as long as you're with Shandy, that ain't never going to happen. Now, Shandy, last thing I want to say is I want to also agree with Carrie when she said um, that, 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 that you get on here and you tell people that you don't want nobody involved in your personal life. But it is you who got on here in your same community post. And you said, sir, and you and I'm sorry, ma'am. You said that um that 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 your man gave you two orgasms. Oh god. Now, what if I decided to come on here and do a video on nothing but that comment? You're gonna go on your channel, you're gonna say, Well, nobody should be in my business and my personal life. Well, this is where Carrie makes her good point. You see, you want everybody in your personal life. That's why you vlog, that's why you vlog on the internet all the time. Because you want everybody in your personal life. Now, you know who else vlogs on here? I think a little bit. 
truthfully, Trisha, I never really hear her whine and complain the way you do. What she does is she trolls and trolls back. That's what she does. But I don't think I've ever heard her say, not as many times as I've heard you say, that um, that you uh, that, that you don't want nobody afraid. involved in your personal life. Well, if you don't want me in your personal life, stop talking about it. Because as long as you're on social media, people are going to do that. You know what I mean? So just want to put that out there, ladies and gents. Um, just want to put that out there. Um, Shani, stop lying about me in your community posts. And for the people who have been asking me how long am I going to continue to talk about Shani on this channel, uh, I think I'm going to do this until I get my apology from her. Because she lied about that. Well, she lied about a couple of things. Number one, she lied about um, about the death, the, the death sentence I gave her. She lied about getting a job. She lied about getting assistance from the government. Rev lied to me about getting a job. And I want apologies for these things. And if they don't, I'm going to keep exposing them on here. Now, some people on here are complaining that they're blocked on this YouTube channel. One of these people happened to be Lubis. Lubis, you are blocked on my YouTube channel because every time I turn around, dude, you're trying to get me to argue things that I don't particularly care about arguing about, dude. So you're going to remain blocked until you cut it out. That's your punishment. Okay? So, I'm sorry here. I don't know in a minute. There we go. Yeah, and she used me. Absolutely. She used me, and I lost thousands messing with her. Thousands trying to help her and help her get back on her feet. Because I told them on multiple occasions that my goal, my goal for them was to watch them get back on their feet. Uh, 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 and they actually try to do well, but that's not their goal. All they care about, man, is getting enough money to get Delta 8 so they can get high. But that one thing I can tell about her, her recent streams is that the uncle is putting pressure on her. I can tell because Rev is feeling nervous again. He's starting to get a little anxious about his living situation. Okay, that means the uncle is telling them, hey, have you guys doing your paperwork? Because you can't stay here forever. I'm trying to sell the house. That First of all, the uncle is not rich like Rev was. I'm sorry, the uncle is, doesn't have as much money as the, the way Rev has. He's retired, and he needs money just like the rest of us. And every month he has to pay that electric bill, and every month he has to pay, uh, uh, he, he's, he's helping these two. So they're going to have to move soon. I even think that's one of the reasons why she's not making videos because there's no there's noise complaints in that neighborhood. I'm almost positive that people are complaining about the amount of noise that they're making over there. So although I can't confirm that and prove that, one of these days I am gonna sneak over there. I'm gonna give you guys a special stream. I'm gonna sneak over there and when I know she's raging, I'm gonna get an Uber, I'm gonna run over there if I'm in Scranton at the time. And then what I'll do is I'll um I'll um I'll hit the, uh, the the play button so you guys can hear just how loud she is. Because those walls are very thin over there and those houses over there. Everybody can hear everything that's being said over there. All right. So, Shani, uh, this is my response to your community post. What I would recommend you do so that you can stop looking so stupid on social media is to research when people say say I said certain things. There's, there's enough people in here that don't like me that will tell you straight up that I'm lying about the things. I'm sorry, that I actually said the things that I said. And if they don't confirm it, you need not believe it. All right. You guys have a good day. I'll try to go live a little bit later as I want to continue to talk about Shandy's infidelity and how she doesn't respect any man that she actually uh, gets involved with. Later. Wow. Being a nice job, G-Man. Nice job. Um. All right. Let's see here. What are we doing next? I don't know why, but this got stuck in my head just a second ago, and now I have to play it. Or else I'm it's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> and you probably have seen this before, but I don't know why this popped into my head and I'm like, I need to hear this. I need to hear this right now. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. Well, I woke up to go give me a cold pop, and then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got her. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Well, I woke up to go give me a cold pop. Then I thought 
somebody was barbecuing. Barbecuing? I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. Ain't nobody got time for that. I needed that. I don't know about you guys, but I needed that. I needed that. Um, okay. So before we go, one more thing. Somebody was talking about this video, this stream, and this part of the stream. So I'm going to pull this up really quick, and we're going to watch it together. I watched this not long ago, but it never gets old. So let me pull this up for you guys. Let's see. That's perfect lighting. All right, let's go fast forward a little bit into this. So Rev's about to get on here, and oh, did I miss this? Uh, did I miss a super sticker? Uh oh. Oh, I see it now. Trolling ain't easy. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Trolling ain't easy. I appreciate that. And sorry, I didn't see it right away. My bad. Thank you, um, Peaches, for for letting me know. Um, so. What this stream is that we're going to watch a little bit of, I'm not going to play the whole thing, um, but this was when, if any of you guys were around, when the tire fiasco was going on, where they claimed that someone punctured their tire with rebar and shit, and they claimed they needed a new tire, and Rev was trying to claim they needed 350 bucks for a tire. For a tire. So, <laughs> I am in the chat. And as he starts asking for all this, you'll see I bring up getting a job. I, I had been talking to him about applying at the post office. And um, he was saying, oh, yeah, I'm interested in that, blah, blah, blah. Then never did it. I bring it up in the stream. Well, why haven't you applied for a job somewhere or something? Like, and you're on here asking for money. And it triggers the fuck out of him. And he ends up calling me a cunt. More than once, he calls me a cunt twice, a fucking bitch, and shit like that. So, here we go. We're going to jump right into this. Anyway, the fact is that our tire was mutilated by somebody. We have a description from our son. We have a description of the person. We're pretty sure we know who did it. <coughs> there are not cameras. <coughs> <coughs> There's no cameras in the back. So... We may have footage across the street. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, um, I brought up the used tire thing too, Pink Barbie. Because that's what we've had to do before. We've gotten flat tires before. And new tires are expensive. But you can go and get a used tire for a lot cheaper. It's out there, out there. They are out there. If you're broke and you're having to beg people for money, that would be the way to go, right? I don't believe it. I think the house is vacant over there. There's just work being done on it. I'm not sure. So, the police Ugh. are going to have to get involved probably in this. It's raining here again. I don't know about where you guys are, but oh my god. It has been raining so much lately. And it's driving me nuts. Eventually. But I like rain, don't get me wrong. But this much? Like, if you're like me and you have a dog that you have to walk, the rain, the rain starts to get on your damn nerves. You know what I mean? Anyway. I need... A vehicle. So, $350 goal, guys. And you guys are awesome. You're really amazing. We're cutting our 48 stream, like, 
And Some I idiot said, anytime my tire goes flat, I just pull a rev and abandon the car. <laughs> oh, I love much. it. Well, not in half, but it's usually 500 for a 48-hour yeah. stream. Yeah. Where the hell is my phone? But it's we're just charging 350 for our tires right now for the 48-hour stream. Um, Because... We need help. Yeah. The thing is, everything you guys know, okay, everything is so expensive now. What Did you look into a used tire, though? The cheapest that I can get the tire is 200 bucks. Is then that's what the fundraiser's for. All right, here the it comes, tire, guys. The tire Be itself listening. is 200 okay? I need to tow it there, which is another 100 And then there's going to be other costs guaranteed for service. So total, it would be 350 now, if the service is more than $50, I'm going to have to find a few bucks to put together to have the rest of the money. But that 350 I think, is going to cover everything. The tire, the tow, and the labor, I think, will be good. Why won't you apply online to post officers? Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, thank you for that. He doesn't want to talk about How his... How would I go for that? Wait, wait, wait. Just, let me just... Listen, guys, wow. he doesn't want to go and talk about where he works or anything personal like that because people stalk. So even if he did apply to the post office, he wouldn't tell you due to how well, that, stupid yeah, people that's are like. Yeah, that's true. I don't want anybody to know what I'm doing in my personal life, number one. So if I had a job already, I wouldn't want you to know it, Carrie, <laughs> that I don't know it all. Then don't Harry. beg for money. I have no fucking car to get my wife's medicine. Okay, guys, just stop. She's a fucking cunt. Just stop. I don't have a car to get my wife's medicine. Just stop. $20 riding Uber per mile. Like, fucking bitch. Just stop. Fucking bitch. Cunt. Get me off the screen. Get me off the screen. I'm done with yes, this. Yes, I, I, I... Fuck you, I carry here. Fuck you, punk. Gary. You're a cunt. Jason, William. Get me off the screen. I'm done with yes, this. Yes, I, I... Fuck you, I carry here. Fucking punk. Jason, William. Will you stop? Apologize. No way. Asshole, are you? Stop it. No. I'm done. I won't. You won't hear me again. I promise. I'm done. I apologize. No, I'm done. You won't hear me again. I promise. I'm sorry for the offense. I see. I said I'm sorry. Sorry for the offense, but you won't hear me again. Because I'm done with that bullshit. That's He's like a child, and she's like, "Say sorry, apologize," and he, "No, I'm not gonna do it." Like Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, some idiot, for the super chat. You said, yeah, fuck you, Carrie. Yeah, exactly, some idiot. <laughs> fuck me. Fuck me for saying, oh, maybe you should get a job, Rev. If you're going to beg for money all the time, maybe you should actually put in an application here and there. But I'm a cunt for that. And I, I, I think it is time for men to stop using that word onto women to degrade them. I'm not happy with him, I'll just say that. But, but seriously, I'm going to ask you not to use that word or talk to my audience like that ever again. Because I don't appreciate it. Okay? If your mental health is getting away with how you're treating people, maybe you should remove yourself from said scenario. That's what I did. You can tell, like, by looking at Shani's face, she's like, this motherfucker, we need money, and he is fucking this up. That's what she's really worried about. She ain't worried about whether or not he hurt my feelings. She's like, God damn it, he can't get anything right. We need money, and look at what he's doing. I love you. I love you, too. But do better. Yeah, I love you.
42. Because I don't like that shit. No, I hate it too. That's that's why I always, it, it, after it happens, I always feel like crap. Because, take me off the screen, please, because I'm having my pipe. I'm having my pipe, Shani. Uh, I take always, me off the I screen. I myself after outbursts like that happen. That's why I need to, to have a psychiatrist or whatever. That That's what I need. So, I'm sorry. And I'm going to get help, you know. Wait. All right. In May, June, I don't know. Jesus. Men need to be taught how to treat women, period. If for some reason I cut out in a second and you guys don't hear me anymore, it's the weather. The weather's getting really bad, so just be aware of that. And I don't care how anyone takes that. Mom, um. I'm smoking my <laughs> meth. <laughs> I could say so many things like that and I would say I don't care how nobody takes it, but I do care. I do care. I, I, I definitely care how I'm treated. And how people around me are treated. Because see, like it or not, we're together. So what you say is a reflection onto me. And I don't want to be reflected like that. Like it or not. Yeah. So it embarrasses me. I mean, I do you realize I had a really good reputation in the fucking prophecy community? Yeah, but... Why okay. can't you? Why can't you let me have a good reputation? Why? Why? Okay. Why is it okay for you to control? I'm, say I'm just. I, why is it okay for you to be able to control your tongue when you're doing prophecy, but you can't control your tongue when you're doing my show? That's kind of disrespectful, don't you think? I was disrespectful. Yeah. By her. Okay. Paying uh. audience members, sure. That's why I apologized. Okay. I apologize for it. Can we move on? I'm sorry the outburst happened. Thank you. Yes, absolutely, because I love you, and I don't want to be like that ever. That's yeah. That's shitty. I, I, it, it's called being a professional. Yeah, it, you're right, and I fucked up. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, you do that at a job, you're going to get fired. That's why the doctor said you should be on disability, kid. Like, people aren't going to handle that type of behavior. Exactly. That's why I would get fired. Because I have those stupid outbursts for no reason. Like a child. It's it's like a child would do that. Yeah. You know, what, a bold, petulant kid in, in school that's had disciplinary issues. That's weird. Why the hell do I have that? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, so if you can control your tongue doing your prophecy channel, yeah. you can control your tongue on my channel. Of course I can. Yeah. I was, I'm sorry, I just was going up and down the hill today, and I, lots is on my mind. I, I understand. I'm sorry. But please be self-aware of what comes out of your mouth. I have to be. For the if it's mean, yeah. if it's nasty, Don't say it. if it's condescending, Don't say if it's it. negative. Don't say it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a child. I know these things. It's just when my, when, when I feel threatened or offended, I can say shit that's really stupid. Then try not to be offended by everything. Yeah. That, why should I be offended? Yeah. It because, was because other people have a way of looking at this, and I understand that. Yeah, most people work. Well, of course. I understand that fucking shit. You know? So. We'll get through this, guys. Yeah, a doctor told my... He told me and my mother when... Can I put your face yeah, on? Yeah, you can't now. I'm sorry. I was... In 2004, I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, and both my, my general practitioner, doctor, the psychologist at the time, and uh, like authorities that were involved with it all agreed. They said, kid, you're going to have issues going forward in your life. It's a guarantee, because we see your, they did a brain scan of me and everything, okay? They had like probes in my head studying my brainwave activity. Because I was like half, almost catatonic, completely almost. So they said, look, you're going to have issues going forward. So we're going to file this paperwork ahead of time for you. And if you want to put it in, you can do it right now. If not, hold off, go ahead. Try and live your life and see how you are after you get out of here. Because the doctor said, yeah, he can go. He's not a uh, danger to himself or others. I was in a mental ward in Carbondale at Marion Community Hospital is the name of the hospital. And they diagnosed it and said, yeah, here's your disability papers. File them now if you want. But 
that's it. You see what they're saying? I have mental illness too. It's not an excuse. And they're not saying that to put no, pressure they're on you. They're, they're saying that because they, they with mental illness have, have, have done similar like things yeah, in the past. But you have, but listen, this is what a therapist will tell you. Okay. Look at him. Been through it. You Look at him you smoking. Been it yet. With his face toward the but wall. A therapist will tell you, you got to learn how to control your actions and your reactions to things. Well, I already know these things. That Maybe that means I'm not as mentally ill as I thought. I just have to have somebody walk me through coping s sober or get me on medication because the mania is what causes this. It's mania. But anyway, this was a different thing. I actually felt severely offended because I know I've already said to you folks. Oh, Elemental's like, this is therapy, Jason. Yeah, we've all gone through therapy. So this is kind of like DBT. group therapy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me make it understood why I reacted this way, because I've already make it, made it understood to folks on my channel. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to let this play. Um, my dog's freaking out a little bit because of the weather. So I'm going to let this play. Give me one second. That I agree with you that I need to get employment. Okay, I agree. I have severe anxiety that I have to get under control, and as soon as that's under control, I'll have nothing to worry about. I think I'd be able you know to what? handle I a job. I know what to give you. When I get medicated, I what know. do people not understand about this? Here, if your anxiety, <clears throat> take some Benadryl. No, I don't need this yet. I'm not smoking Delta. No, honey, take the Benadryl. I want to smoke Delta. I know. Take that with the Delta. It will calm your ass down. All right, fine. Thank now, you. now, all of us who have dealt with anxiety knows that Benadryl really helps with anxiety if you don't have any anti-anxiety meds. People need to learn mercy. Because a lot of anti-anxiety meds are like over-bloated uh, Benadryl. So... Can we... Shani? Uh, Shani, somebody needs a lesson on Sodom and Gomorrah and, and inhospitality and unkindness. That's all I'm saying there. <laughs> Honey... No mercy for the weak. You're gonna be okay. Just calm down. Sure, but I'm just saying. Just don't get defensive when someone says their own opinion. I'm not, uh, yeah, I was defensive. That's true. <sighs> but can we have some mercy in the house of God? I do breathe in. Benadryl can make anxiety worse. Not for him. Not for me. No way. This is like very good. Sudafed too. I'm Trump. Like Sudafed. Okay, I'm back. Trump. I'm probably going to be wrapping up quickly because my Noah is just, he does not do well in bad weather. So he's kind of freaking out. He's panicking a little bit right now. Thank calm you. down. Okay, calm, calm down. down right, I Gia? I want you to calm down. Benadryl gives me anxiety too, Gia. You're spot but on. I love you. And you're on edge. And... And since you have schizoaffective disorder, it's a lot like bipolar. So we got to try to disarm you. Because you think everyone's out to get you and we're not. We care for you. I have mania. I definitely have mania. No, I have schizoaffective and I believe bipolar disorder. Both. Well, schizoaffective disorder is like bipolar. Mimics it. Yeah. Then I, that's it's it. It's a mood disorder with uh, temporary schizophrenic-like effects. I had a mental evaluation, and that's the conclusion they came to. Yeah. Are people going to call me a liar? I have to show my medical records. No. I don't give a shit. No. I'm telling you, I was diagnosed with it in 2004. Would you advise Benadryl if, he, if I had some Ativan for him? Yeah. I'd take an Ativan. I know what I'd give him an Ativan. I know what they feel like. I never had one, but I know what they feel like. Like I'd take an Ativan, definitely. I have anxiety. He's willing to take them now. Trust me, Carrie. I never said I wouldn't take an Ativan. No, you said you wouldn't take SSRIs. That's not an SSRI, is it? Mm -mm. No. That's anti-anxiety anti medication. Am yes. I right? Yeah. Yes. No, that's not an SSRI. Didn't say it was an SSRI, you it fucking can be idiot. Addictive, so it's very highly controlled. They'll probably give you like 10 pills for the month.
Yep. Old Pepsi bottle. That's what you get. What do they give for schizoaffective disorder? Usually anti-anxieties, no. antidepressants, and uh, 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 antipsychotics. Bingo. That's what they had me on. They had me on Zyprexa, which is an antipsychotic medication. How'd you feel on it? Horrible. You were just adjusting to it, though. No, more suicidal. I was a, two weeks into it. Okay, you can't say that word. Mel, you are? You're coming off Klonopin? This is hard? Oh my gosh, Mel. Careful. I feel you. I used to be on clonazepam uh, as well. And about two years ago, I stopped taking those or any like uh, benzodiazepines or whatever. And it is really hard to come off of. So I know what you're going through. Kudos to you for doing it and stay strong. Because I do know it it's really hard, but it's worth it. It is worth it. <sighs> Carrie says she takes an anti-psychotic. Yeah, good for Carrie. So, um... <laughs> I mean, dick. She all the answers, she? She's well, dick. she goes through the same thing you go through. All right, well, if that's what I end up on... I've been waiting for mental health, which, uh, like I have to repeat myself a million times. I know. People like have really, short-term memory. Yeah, apparently they do. Well, these are people who have trauma, dear. Fine. Well, I know they watch us on a regular basis, and they know this is the case with me. I've been trying to get mental help for a year. Yeah. And there's no help. It's okay, Jason. There's no help. It's okay, Jason. You're taking offense again. They are offensive. No, they're trying to help they you. They are. I see them trying to help I don't you. care. We I'm, like to discuss psychology, and you're taking offense to no, it. No, I'm moving on, though. I'm literally moving on. And what I'm saying is I want help, and I've been pursuing help, and there's been nothing because it's wait, wait, wait. And then they cancel your appointments. <laughs> Eddie, thank you for the super chat, Eddie. You said, Carrie, there's something disgusting on the screen. Then I noticed it was just Shanny. <laughs> Because it's Medicaid, that's the problem. Thank you, Eddie. I think that's it. <sighs> Pretty simple. Is it depressing? Does it suck? Yeah. But a lot of people are going through this, the same crap I am. That's for sure, the same crap Shani's going through. She wants to get her PT done. She can't. They close all PT because of COVID. It's still like that. Wow. I need to call them and see what's the update on that. Yeah, you can probably get back now, probably. Oh, I can't wait to go back. Because mm -hmm. I really want to go back. I really want to go back. I can tell. Without a doubt, I can tell. <coughs> Look up lamp... Lamictal. It's a uh, medication for bipolar. Wow. I'll thank you, Camnion. Camnion? Am I saying that right? Um, you said Rev and Shan both are doctor shopping for meds. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Thank you for the super chat. I hope I said your name right. I'm just going to call you Cam if that's okay. <laughs> <clears throat> huh Mel if your heart if you're having issues with um your heart rate like racing and stuff one thing that you might want to talk to your doctor about is getting on a beta blocker like a blood pressure medication um I take propranolol and it really really it's a blood pressure medication and I don't have high blood pressure but what it does, the way that it works, it will lower your heart rate as well. So if you consistently are having problems with your heart racing and, and heart palpitations and things like that, talk to your doctor if you haven't about getting on something like that. Um, because that's helped me a lot with that. Because I, I have problems with my heart rate. Like my heart rate will go really, really, really fucking high sometimes. 
for no reason. And if I'm having anxiety, it goes even higher. Um, and that has helped me. The propranolol helps me a lot. It like makes me less shaky feeling and it doesn't like mess you up or anything like that. It's not like that. Um, but it will make your heart rate slow down some and you'll be able to relax a little bit better. better. So look into that if you if you're not on that could, already. You know, we could say that it's urgent. They, they, See what they do. They want $50. We'll, we'll figure out how to get it. Okay. <coughs> oh, thank you, Cam, for another super chat. And you said you also take propranolol. Awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's a, um, propranolol has been around for a long time. Um, so it's, it's a good drug. It's safe. I mean, it's definitely something you need to, to uh, weigh pros and cons with your doctor, but it can really help. It can really help a lot. So this, I need to be able to drive again. Yeah, I know. Period. Yeah, before anything, we need to drive again. Before anything, that's it. Like, I'm not trying to be whatever. Things aren't right down the road. Everything isn't just right down isn't the road. Isn't it pink, Barbie? We, I, we need a mode of transportation. Shanny can't walk any distance. We need a vehicle. So, and I don't, I'm not asking you to buy me a fucking car. I'm saying somebody from the community put my tire out with rebar that's what happened somebody from the community that lives around here put my tire out with rebar and i'm asking kind people to put donate to put 350 together so that my family can survive and yeah i'm going to be getting a job as soon as humanly friggin possible dude and i'll be getting help as soon as humanly possible so i have no delusions I'm an adult. I can think. I, I have a thought process. I'm not that messed up unmedicated. I'm pretty with it unmedicated, actually. I can think. <laughs> Please don't say that, Elemental. But oh, that, really, that, some that, idiot? Yeah. That, Who that's did that? Did. Who called you fat? That's fucked up. You see? That's not cool. See? There's Ugh. huge holes in the... Oh, yeah. I forgot. She mutes it for a second. Let me fast forward through this part. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to have to end this live stream early because someone's not feeling too good right now. I'm fine, man. I'm just going to watch Buffy. Yeah, I don't feel like being embarrassed. Wow. So I'm going to go and let this guy calm down. What the hell? I'm, I'm sorry for everyone for that behavior. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. I got one more thing that I want to play for you guys. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, hold on. One second, guys. Got to scroll back down here. Just gonna play you one of my favorites. Um, where is it? Here it is. This one always makes me feel better when I'm having a bad day. I got amazing news from my lawyer. Yes. And I have to say, I know what you guys did now on the day the Shane Dawson video we premiered in. Yeah. Uh, what you guys did. And um, I have to say, uh, according to Discovery, I win. Yeah. Because it kind of sucks when you have cops on camera joking about it. Oh, wow. What? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. no. Did your little plans backfire? 
I, I win. win. What a juicy lawsuit situation. I'm not talking anymore. Okay. But I win. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> For all the people thinking I'm gonna go broke. What? No. I... <sighs> G man, you want me to buy you a car or something? Oh, that's gonna happen, folks. Do you believe the blessings in the body of Christ right now, folks? Jesus <laughs> loves me. This Jesus loves me. For yes, yes, the yes. Bible I know. Me so. For the Bible tells me so. The Bible tells me so. Praise Jesus, oh. he tells me so. This is so powerful. Your plans fail, devil. Folks. Your plans <laughs> fail, devil. And I'm gonna get rich out of it. Oh my God, individuals. <laughs> and you stupid fox. You still gonna be poor. And wish I'm gonna go to jail. But I'm not. Because <laughs> I win. Uh-huh. Because I'm a queen. No and you cannot job. take me down. Because I will always be queen. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God, you're beautiful. Ha-ha. <laughs> 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 Guys, I just got this eviction notice that we got to be kicked out here in the weekend. And we're losing our fucking car and everything all at once. I need fucking help. it i love it you guys never gets old um let's see oh thank you bobby tough for the super chat you said shanny foreshadowing is brilliant right hilarious all right guys i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning i'm gonna go hang out with the dog for a little while he's uh been not handling this bad weather very well so I'm going to take a break and go chill out for a little while. Um, I did see in here that G-Man said something about going live again later. So if he does that or puts out a new video, I'll jump on here. If they come back on or do anything, I'll jump back on here. And even if they don't, I might jump back on here later today or this evening anyway. So thank you guys for hanging out. I'm going to leave you with a song, but this time it's not going to be, I'm not, I already tortured you with some of Shani's singing today, so I'm not going to torture you with more. Um, this is from Los Cal Productions. I'm going to leave you guys with this and I will see you guys next time. Let's see. Let me make sure it goes to it here. There we go. All right, guys. Love you guys. See you next time. <laughs> Not to get banned. Shannon gonna eat up all the foods. Rip got brain damage from quitting the booze. Sucking down cheeseburgers donated by the fans. Ribbit just got beat, he's got his head in his hands. Shannon says, hey Rev, I thought I just had gas. But I gotta take a shit, I need you to wipe my ass. Oh yeah, these two are scum. Life can be long if you are dumb. Oh yeah, these two are scum. Life can be long if you are dumb. And they're real dumb. Rip needs 
some dope so he turns on his can Stammers and stutters and does his weird neck thing Well a few people know Shan has a big C We need don't know so we can catch a taxi Oh no, these two are bombs Life can be too long if you are dumb Oh no, these two are bombs Life can be too long if you are dumb They get into a fight Cause Shan needs a bow Rip catches, hands his head, bounces off the wall. Click them donos as much as you can. Shan is hungry and Red will never be a man. She weighs a ton Oh yeah, these two are dumb Shannon's gonna consume until she weighs a ton A little story about Remy and Shan Two ways of life that just sit on their cans